Well, good afternoon and happy Wednesday, folks. Welcome to another episode of Seattle's Real Estate Podcast. I am Dan Edwards, your host. I'm here to provide the inside scoop on living, working, and playing across the greater Seattle area and the east side. It is Wednesday, April 10th, and we're coming to you live on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, we would love for you to chime in with any comments or questions in live and real time. You can certainly like and subscribe. I think the subscription button is over on the bottom one of these spots. Please subscribe and rate our podcast. You can actually listen to our podcast anytime, anywhere. Podcasts are casted, both Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Real estate fans, we're going to have an exciting show today. I mean that. Um, we're going to talk first in our Real Talk segment. We're reviewing five of the top Seattle neighborhoods. Um, and then in our mortgage moment, we're going to be having a conversation with Tucker uh, about our contingencies and strategies. And then we'll have two awesome local spotlights, uh, Angel Hutchins with our with Trove and Company and Lisa Schultz with Anderson Carpet Cleaning. It's going to be a great show. All right, let's get started with our Real Talk segment. All right. As a part of our Real Talk segment today, we're talking about Seattle and Seattle's top five neighborhoods. I spent some time analyzing some things, and I also went off experience and instinct. And I wanted to find out the top neighborhoods in Seattle, um, both from a standpoint of where people want to be and also from how hot they are, heat, I guess. Um, so the criteria I used was um, how much movement, so new listings. It couldn't be in a neighborhood where it was kind of less than 50 um, homes coming and going, but also what we call absorption ratio or months of inventory. So uh, we also split it up between uh, single family homes or residential homes and condominiums. There's definitely a push in Seattle to have kind of a combination of uh, townhomes that are labeled condos because of the, the um, permitting process and all of that stuff. So uh, there's not an exact science, but it is more of a feel. So let's start with the residential neighborhoods. So if you take a look at Seattle um, and you could just go kind of right in the center of it, and maybe you wanna have a map and kind of Google some of these locations, um, with regards to hottest neighborhoods, we're going to start with Ballard. Ballard is kind of north of the um, um, north of Lake Union. Actually, it's northwest of Lake Union um, to uh, across the the channel. Like there's a I can't remember what it's called, but it's a channel that goes from Lake Union to um, the Puget Sound. And the median home price in Ballard is nine hundred thousand. So our months of inventory is less than a month. So that means it's pretty hot, pretty moving. Um, the next one is West Seattle. So West Seattle is actually, um, okay, I have to admit that it, it took me a while after I moved to Seattle to understand that there was something west of it because I always saw there was water there. But there is West Seattle. It's actually where the original settlers um, founded. The city of Seattle is out on Alki in West Seattle. But it was too windy. Uh kind of crazy, but from a, from residential homes, you're going to find a median home price out there of about 830 with about a month's worth of inventory. Now, Wedgwood is actually northwest of uh, Lake Union. And that is, again, these are for residential homes. So you have to kind of think it's a little different than the condoized downtown Seattle area. Uh, but Wedgwood and, um, you know, Wedgwood and, um, Wallingford is actually on the west side of I-5, but um, and, and into like, say, Ravenna, um, uh, Roosevelt, these neighborhoods kind of qualify as that Wedgwood area. Um, that's one, uh, a million is the median home price, and we're a little over one month of inventory there. And then Madison Park. Madison Park is actually directly due east of downtown Seattle, um, up against Lake Washington, a Madison Park area. Um, there's also... Um, uh, Capitol Hill, but not as many single family homes. There's kind of a mix in there. Um, and that's a million ninety five is our median price. And then Magnolia. Magnolia is directly west of Lake Union and the Queen Anne area, which we'll talk about as well. Median home price there is a million three sixty and there's two months of inventory. So a little bit more inventory, but I can tell you um, that two month between two month and one month, it really is kind of a wash. Um, but those are your top five Seattle neighborhoods for residential homes. Now let's talk about the top five 
for condos. It's a little, it's, it's definitely similar because Ballard is there with 1.3 months of inventory, 600, $600,000 for median home price, West Seattle, 475, 2.17 months of inventory. Um, North Seattle is 2.3 months of inventory, uh, 675. And then Capitol Hill and um, Capitol Hill is kind of directly down from downtown is uh, 5.2 two, four, five, excuse me, 500,000, 525,000. Let's round up three months of inventory. And then South Lake union slash queen Anne is uh 537,000 with three months of inventory. And let me add something here is in my analysis, as I started looking, there's areas called Belltown and also that South Lake union. Um, about four years ago, our median home price was not only where it's at now, but maybe a little higher and, and climbing. But um, I'm going to step out and make a little bit of a political statement is that the, the downtown core of Seattle has had a lot of kind of, eh, I don't know, challenges, problems. And those problems are leading to people not wanting to be in those areas. Those areas were going to be growing at, at an exponential rate. But because of uh, because of that, the, the issues, political issues in Seattle proper, these condos are probably the least desirable thing in the area. That's why you see between one to three months of inventory. So it's staying a little bit longer. But from a standpoint of top areas, um, there, there you have it. So we've got Ballard, West Seattle, Wedgwood, North Seattle, uh, Capitol Hill, and South Lake Union. So um, those are your top communities in and around Seattle. Next week in our Real Talk segment, we're going to jump into East Side neighborhoods. Um, I hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, coming up next, we're going to talk to Tucker. We're going to talk about negotiations and contracts. So come back after this short commercial break. <laughs> 